Welcome to the Systems Relentless training video. My name is David and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the latest changes to your NHS items with the new CDS treatment bans imposed by the NHS BSA. Now, to see these changes we'll need to go into the setup page of the system by the tooth in the top left hand corner. I can then select our items. From there I'll see an items list where I can select for example a clinical exam and go to edit. Previously on the system, we changed the banding by going to the Scheme tab and selecting the Scheme NHS, and on there we'll have the Change Band option. As you can see now though, that option is greyed out, and that is because it's dictated to by the data set, which can be found on the General tab. The clinical data set can be selected at the bottom, as I have done with the exam, and that dictates it as a band 1. Now, it is important that you go through your item list and make sure that the correct clinical data set is assigned to each item. At SFD we have tried to go through and correct the data set where possible, however an example of where changes might be necessary is for perio scaling. On the perio scaling you can see the clinical data set is currently set as scale and polish, which is a band 1. However if I change that data set to the advanced perio RSD option, that will make my item a band 2. Now these data sets have been provided by the BSA and can't be edited, so the right item needs to be selected to the correct data set. Now when I open up my patient record and go to my treatment form, I can then add on my items as normal, such as my clinical exam which makes it a band 1, and if I add on my perio scaling item, it'll assign it as a band 2 form, which we can see in the bottom left. This section on screen is going to be important for you to check in the meantime of switching over the item's data set. If you notice that a treatment form has gone to the incorrect banding, it'll be as a result of the data set on the item. Now also be aware that these changes are taking place as of the 1st of April 2022, so any claims sent on that date and after will be rejected if the banding doesn't match the item. Now also be aware that in the general tab there is the option for the charge band. That is currently ticked as generated from treatment. What we SFD have had to do for any closed course of treatment is untick that tick box in order to maintain the form's correct banding at the time of submission. However, if you need to reopen a closed course of treatment, you will need to then adjust the banding for that form. Going forward, however, the system will pick it up based on the clinical data set on the item setup. If you require any further help with your items or would like a better understanding of the new changes, please give our support line a call or contact us via our email on info at sfd.co. Thanks for watching. You'll find more videos as well as a series of FAQ help guides on our website. For other inquiries or support requests, please don't hesitate to call.